Mariah, tell us how you chose the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology and your decision-making process. Um, well, just like being from the area, I've always like, I've just always known about South Dakota School of Mines. And really what drew me to their program was it's a strong academic school. And that was probably like the biggest pulling factor is that like, I'll know I'll be able to get a good education there. And right, how about your current plans in area of study? Um, I plan on pursuing biomedical engineering and hopefully after college I'll work in the, the field of research like specifically with artificial limbs. When did you start playing volleyball and who are those that you looked up to and helped you along the way? Um, I started playing in seventh grade and my mom's played her entire life so I was kind of a, she's probably the one who just propelled me into it. and. Yeah, I just always looked up to her. She also played at South Dakota School of Mines in college. She also played volleyball. Yeah, I just started playing in seventh grade and just fell in love with it. Now let's talk about your coaches. Well, I've known Shelby Richards for about as long as I started playing volleyball. She's like also played volleyball with my mom like in co-ed leagues and I've just always known she's a very strong role model. And then my club coach, Annika Steffens, is also the assistant coach at South Dakota School of Mines. And she just helped me progress like in a lot of personal ways. She helped me develop as a person. Congratulations, best wishes. Thank you. relatively close to home. Um, on June 11th, the coaches were able to reach out to players and the University of South Dakota reached out to me at 7 in the morning. Um, Michael Thomas, the head coach, was always super nice and when I did my visit there, I really got along with the team. I loved the campus and I just knew I was going to go to USD right away. And that just kind of made my decision for me. How about career plans and area of study? I want to go into computer science with a focus of artificial intelligence. When did you start playing soccer and who were those that you looked up to help you along the way? Um, I started playing soccer ever since I could really walk. I was kicking the ball around. Um, some of the mentors that really helped me throughout my career where Sherry Post, she really helped me in my youth youth years and developed me as a player when I was super young. Um, Black Hills Rapids really developed me as a player as well. They're the ones who opened the door for me at the like collegiately and um, brought me all around the country to play and put me on the map for college soccer. And Justin Griffith, really developed me as a leader for Spearfish High School soccer and he was the one who really started to put me as an attacking midfielder which is my favorite position now so yeah those three were really the real big keys for me as a player. Congratulations and best wishes. Congratulations. Tell us about uh, 
your decision process in choosing Black Hill State University? Um, it's just, it's close to home. They have a good track coach that's new, that I think is really good, and he seems to like the vaulters a lot, so I'm excited about that. And I don't have to leave my parents, so that's good. <laughs> and they gave me a scholarship that was good, so it was a financially smart idea. Yeah. How about your career plans in the area of study? Um, I think I'm, I'm going to do exercise science, and then I will continue and become a physical therapist. You were a class double A state champion in the pole vault. Yep. Tell us how you got into that, and who were those who kind of helped you along the way? Well, I was a gymnast, like, since I can remember. And then I started vaulting with Coach Nida, and he did a good job, and it's fun. I like it a lot, and it just kind of came naturally, I guess. All right, congratulations and best wishes. Thank you.